Welcome back. Well, illegal border crossings break a new record with CBP reporting over 300,000 encounters in December, the highest month ever recorded. Yeah, and our next guest outlines in a new op-ed how it could be impacting your wallet. Todd Benzman is a senior fellow at the Center for Immigration Studies, and he joins us now. Todd, tell us how this crisis, which is a crisis that has been acknowledged almost by everyone except for the president of the United States, affects everyone's wallet. Well, for one thing, they're not just coming here on their own dime. Uh, the United Nations, it turns out, is spending hundreds of millions of dollars in cash handouts, food, shelter, something called humanitarian transportation, uh, really every human need that uh, is required to make the long journey through uh, Latin America, Central America, and Mexico. Uh, and who pays the UN? Who, who's the UN's major funder? It's the U.S. taxpayer is paying for this. Uh, how do we know this? Because there's a brand new budget document that the UN puts out uh, for 2024. They're going to spend $1.6 billion to help 3 million illegal immigrants uh, move through 17 different countries of Latin America and the Caribbean and Mexico. And that includes $370 million in cash cards, debit cards, uh, $25 million in transportation assistance to help them move through. And the budget document also clearly uh, shows that they are witting, that they, they know that these are illegal immigrants and that they are moving illegally through their own member states. And they're using 248 NGOs to help hand out the cash. So, so oh, go ahead. So, well, Todd, I was going to say, first of all, the UN is 0 for 2 for, with us this morning. Uh, but this money is supposed to go to legitimate asylum seekers. What's the vetting process like? Uh, that's a, a big mystery, but, uh, you know, I've been down at the border. I've, I've been to these waste stations. Uh, I've interviewed the um, illegal immigrants who are receiving this. I've had them take, show me their, their debit cards, the whole thing. They, they say that it's for the most vulnerable. Uh, but, you know, there's, they're planning to hand out debit cards and cash equivalents to 624,000 illegal immigrants in 2024. None of them look particularly vulnerable to me. Uh, I mean, a lot of them are grown men. They're adults. Uh, they don't seem weak or, or uh, sick or anything like that. Um, they, they, they say it's for the most vulnerable, but I, know, I don't see it. I'm sure there are some vulnerable people that are, that are receiving this cash aid. But I also think that they just want to help as many illegal immigrants as possible move to the United States and they know it and they say it in the budget document, which is linked in my New York uh, Post and the Center for Immigration Studies piece that I, that I uh, published on this matter. I think you're exactly right. There's an agenda there. So just to be clear for our audience, we're funding the UN. The UN is funding people in Central America who they deem to be vulnerable, even if they're not vulnerable, to make the trek to the United States with our taxpayer dollars. There's a little bit of irony there. Uh, yes, and some Republicans have been angry about this uh, ever since it, it was revealed that we're just handing out all this cash along the way, uh, that our, our United Nations is doing this. Look, a lot of the money is earmarked by the White House, by the State Department, uh, and go, goes straight to uh, the United Nations High Commission on Refugees, UNHCR, and the IOM, the um, uh, International Organization for Migration, that's who's that's the pass through. But there's 15 other UN agencies uh, that are involved as well. Wow. Well, Todd, thanks for doing the the spade work on this. Illuminating. We're gonna dig in even you, more. Todd. Scary. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Mm. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.